All right, baddie, so as you guys saw in those cinematics, we have a lot to cover with V2. And the way I'm gonna divide this up is I'm gonna start off with the front end, the middle, which not much is going on with the middle besides the interior. And then we're gonna move on to the back of the truck. And the back is where a lot of the fabrication work uh, is actually visible and looks really cool. And that's where the fun is. All right, so let's start off with the front. And front, top dead center, is gonna be the stock grill. A lot of people ask me, what grill is that from? It's just the 93 Toyota pickup stock grill. And if you look to the left and to the right of the grill, you're gonna see these custom corner lights that I actually did. And I utilized an XK Glow sequential light strip. So when it's daytime running, it's a nice white outline. But as soon as you hit those hazards or those turn signals, it's gonna turn into a nice amber sequential effect. And in order to use these lights, you have to get the four wheel drive or the forerunner same year as your truck uh, fenders. And once you have those on, it's basically a bolt on and it adds about an inch and a half of width up front. Now, if you look inside the grill, you'll see that I have some six by seven headlights and those are actually dapper lighting. I've had them for about five plus years. I've never had an issue with them. And I love the fact that it doesn't actually light up the housing. It lights up this projector connected to an HID kit and it gives it a really, really aggressive look. And now if you look right under that, you'll see that I have a forerunner bumper and lower valence. This is bolt on as long as you have the brackets that hold it on to the actual forerunner. And now everything I just talked about that you see that is glossy up front is actually Ford Tuxedo Black. And I'll have the paint code right here. Uh, it's a very, very beautiful metallic black and it has hints of blue and purple in it. And here's a close up of it. It's a really, really nice color. And now this brings us to basically what makes this whole truck look super, super aggressive up front. The chassis mounted front splitter created by Josh over at Kendrick Performance, along with the canards up on the Forerunner bumper. So now let's talk a little bit about the materials used in the bracketry and how this thing actually bolts up utilizing the four bolts that hold up the Forerunner bumper. And as you guys can see, four powder coated brackets that pop out of the lower valence. And basically these bolt it to the lower cross member just underneath the engine and the two ones on the side hold it up to the brackets that hold up the forerunner bumper. And the actual flat design of the splitter is made out of ABS plastic. And as you guys can see, you'll see a little sliver of aluminum uh, just underneath it. And that's basically so that when I scrape on anything, whatever I'm scraping on doesn't actually gouge the ABS plastic. There's a gap between the actual splitter and my forerunner valence. And this gap was made in order for the splitter to actually clear all the suspension components underneath the truck. So it's all flat all the way back about two and a half feet. So like I said in the beginning of the video, not much has changed with the front end when it came to V1 and V2. I basically just cleaned everything up, sprayed everything that was Ford Tuxedo Black, powder coated everything that was made out of aluminum. And we also added a couple acorn nuts up front and a Chasing Jays titanium license plate bracket. Next, let's talk about these hood vents. These are actually from APR. They're full carbon and they match the mirrors there as well as my antenna right here. You can get these off eBay. These hood vents you could find at any performance uh, store online. Let's talk about these flares right here. They are Bushwhacker Extenda flares. I'll link them down below. It comes with this trim here. And what I really, really like about these is the fact that there's no actual hardware that screws on on the outside. So these actually bolt on utilizing the stock fender liner tabs, I guess you would call them. And you just put a self tapper through those. I've had them on for about seven months, haven't had an issue. They don't move, they're pretty solid. And I painted these to match the front end and that's also for Tuxedo Black. And moving down, making this whole setup look super, super flush, we have Cosmos XT 006Rs. And these are 18 by 11 with a plus eight offset. I know everybody's gonna ask me for the wheel specs. Uh, they don't actually work if you have a stock Toyota pickup and wanna slap these on. You're gonna have to do a lot of fabrication work in order to get these to fit. So the tire is a Nitto Invo. I highly recommend this tire. It's a great overall tire. I'll update you guys once I have 500 horsepower on this thing, but so far they've been amazing. Uh, they are 275, 35, 18 square setup all around. And the lug nuts, I actually have some Chasing J's open-ended titanium lug nuts. These aren't the cheapest thing, but it's really, really good quality and it 
adds a pop of color. Now for the front, we have a Wellwood Superlight Caliper, powder coated in pearl white on a custom bracket to the spindle. And now if we move back here, starting from the very top, we have a Stab Fab upper coilover mount with a QA1 coilover down to a Kendrick Performance extended lower control arm. And then up here, we have a Stab Fab camber adjustable upper control arm with a Moog ball joint and a Beltec drop spindle right here. And then this is a 93 Ford Mustang rack and pinion. And I bolted this on using the Stab Fab rack and pinion kit. This right here is a tension rod from Techno Toy Tuning. And this here is a one inch Beltec sway bar. So all in all, it looks like this and it handles real, real nice. So the side skirts did actually change from V1 to V2. The reason they did is because V1 was flush to the body, but now since we added these fender flares, we needed something to come out and match with them. So Kendrick Performance made me these beautiful, beautiful two-tone side skirts. And as you guys can see, the outside trim is a powder coated texture black and the inside is a Ford tuxedo black to match the fender flares and the front end. And right above that on the door, I have these APR carbon fiber mirrors to match the hood vents and my little carbon fiber antenna. I also added some Chasing Jade hardware cause why not? It's all titanium and it looks really nice. I hope you guys don't mind the change in scenery. I try to change it up so you guys don't get bored of me just talking in the same spot forever. So this brings us back to the chassis mounted rear diffuser here. And if you'll notice these side pieces are nice and level with the side skirts all the way up to the front splitter. It has three dimple dies. And then right in between this is a flat plate. And this plate basically clears the suspension components to make it nice and aerodynamic back here. It is mounted right where the spare tire used to go. So there's a middle bracket right there. It's a big bracket and it holds the middle part. And now to reinforce the sides over by these side pieces with the dimple dies, we had to add two splitter rods, one in the front of the piece and one in the back of the piece. Now you'll notice on this aluminum sheet here, we have four fins and these are powder coated for tuxedo black. You guys can see I have a little trend going on here and there's gloss details. There are powder coated texture black details. We got satin on the truck. And now to add a little bit of color back here, I chose to put the titanium tips here on the exhaust. These are X racing three and a half inch dual blast pipes and it's connected to a full stainless exhaust system that I'll show you guys in the bed. Now this brings us to the inside of the bed. Here's where we have our suspension, our cantilever setup and our fuel cell. So this fuel cell right here is a full aluminum, basically replica of the stock Toyota gas tank. It is a 13 gallon half submerged and it utilizes a stock sending unit and fuel pump. Since we had a lot of the bed cut out right around where the suspension and the fuel cell was, we had to add reinforcement. And it is this plate here that bolts onto the bed and right on top of it, the fuel cell sits. Cause you don't want 80, 90, hundred pounds sitting on flimsy bed. And holding this whole thing down, we have titanium lug nuts to match the wheels. Moving on to the actual suspension, we're gonna start from the very top and work our way down cause it does get pretty intricate. So at the very top, you'll see these QA1 double adjustable coilovers paired with a 450 pound spring ring. And you'll see that the QA1 is connected to a two to one cantilever triangle. Now this essentially means that for every two inches that the wheel moves up and down, it only compresses one on the spring. And that's connected to the push rod that goes down to the 240SX knuckle. Now, Josh over at Kendrick Performance spent a lot of time designing this center support right here because it's essentially holding up the entire weight of the rear of the truck. And just beneath this whole system is the actual 240SX suspension utilizing S13 parts, S14 parts, some Z32 parts, and some Infinity parts. Working from the center out to the actual wheels, I will start with the 300ZX VLSD. And as you know, the 240SX is open diff stock. So I wanted obviously the VLSD. If I'm gonna be doing all this stuff, it's gotta be VLSD. So we have a 411 gear ratio and this is out of the 90 to 96 300 ZX. This brings us to the actual arms of the suspension. So I'd rather show you guys exactly what is going on down here. This is a GK Tech tubular lower control arm. And right here paired with it is a 22 millimeter white line sway bar. And if we move up top here, we got three arms. We got the traction arm, we got the camber arm, and we have the toe arm. And these are all Voodoo 13, 60, 61 billet aluminum. And right here we have an S14 brake caliper paired with Duralast gold brake pads. And right here we have some ARP extended studs. 
The frame is actually notched inwards and reinforced with these nice looking plates here that will allow clearance to the upper control arm if I ever want to really slam this thing. Finally, to wrap up this rear suspension setup, we have a two and a quarter inch full stainless exhaust system. I call it full because it's only from the cat back right now, but once we get that K24 in here, we're gonna obviously do the whole thing. This whole system is held together by V-bands and some welds. So it's V-banded to the cat and then it's V-banded to a Black Widow Race Venom muffler and that is welded to the X-Racing three and a half inch dual blast pipes. The drive shaft was made by Rossi's engine and drivetrain and he's out in Gilroy, California, about a 10 minute drive from Kendra Performance. So he made it, it's out of steel for now, but once we get that K24 in there, I'm gonna go bougie and get the QA1 full carbon fiber drive shaft. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of this video. V2 really tested us. It was a lot, a lot of custom work just to get this thing to run and to make it flow is like a whole different story. Also shout out to Kendrick Performance without Josh and Zach uh, welding this thing, designing this thing, taking countless hours just to get this thing on the road. It wouldn't be what it is. V2 wouldn't exist. V1 wouldn't even exist. I don't know where the truck would be right now, but without them, honestly, they're freaking amazing. Uh, hit them up if you ever need a custom splitter made, side skirts made, diffuser made, suspension like you guys just saw on the bed. They're, they're amazing guys. Hit them up there in Gilroy, California. I'll link them down below so you have direct access to their Instagram. So all in all, huge, huge shout out to Josh and Zach. Without you guys, my dreams would have never became reality with this thing. So if you guys like this version of the truck or just my content in general, please consider subscribing. Uh, liking this video, sharing this video. Let's blow it up. Last video we did 900,000 on V1. Let's see what we could do with V2. And like I said, more videos are coming up. The second video is gonna be the interior. The third video is gonna be the ride along footage. My fourth video is probably gonna be me picking up the actual case swap over at JDM Engine Bay in Hayward. So that's gonna be all fun. I need a source of transmission. We got a lot of work to do for V3. I got a couple surprises that you guys will only be able to find out if you follow my YouTube channel. Also, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. I post on Facebook, on Toyota Minis, on Project Mini Trucks, Stance Mini Trucks. Thank you so much to you guys. I have 17,000 subscribers right now. Uh, I'm hoping to grow the YouTube channel. I wanna show you guys the blood, sweat, and tears montage because it was a lot, a lot of work. Like I said, we would be leaving Kendrick Performance Shop at two, three in the morning, coming right back at six or seven. It was crazy, so cue that, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Got my clothes inside my daddy, it's a night behind the ball. It's a trio.